Hello and welcome to another episode of the Weekly Wrap Up. I'm your host, Gokalo, from Gokalo Retro Reviews, in from Ian, the historic nerd, where we don't have a green screen this time. Sorry, guys. What? God damn it! So, we have a new trailer for the new Ghostbusters movie, the all female version of the movie, and it's Probably one of the trailers that I've seen that has gotten the most hate that I can remember. And a lot of people are making this to be uh, a sexist and uh, a misogyny uh, and actually even racist uh, uh, type of uh, issue and that that's why people were uh, hating on the movie. <laughs> Personally, I, I think it has nothing to do with that. It's just a fucking boring and bad overall trailer, that's what it is. It's nothing to do with the female cast. <laughs> Actually, even the same, very close to the same cast as Bridesmaids, and that movie has, it's, you know, it's pretty much, very much praised. So, I mean, come on guys, we gotta stop with this PC bullshit that we have. We need to understand when something is bad, it's bad. If something is sexist, then we're okay, it's sexist in this case. Nothing to do with anything like that. We recently had a Nintendo Direct and uh, we here thought it was kind of underwhelming. We have new information regarding Star Fox. Uh, it, it's looking pretty fun, but you know, it's, it just looks like an updated version of the 64 version. Which I guess, uh, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Another thing that, I mean, I don't know why we haven't gotten this until now, but there's a lot of... Uh, very sought after uh, Super Nintendo game is going to the uh, 3DS uh, virtual uh, console shop. And, uh, you know, it should have been there for a long time. Games like Super Metroid, Earthbound, um, there is a lot of games that are, again, very sought after Super Mario Brothers. Even these, that's not even there. What's going on? One disappointing part of the news is that we don't have any news uh, of the Zelda Wii U NX title. I guess uh, they're saving that for E3. The beloved Adult Swim cartoon Rick and Morty is gonna have uh, his third season actually at uh, for 2016. Uh, the creator is disputing that. Uh, contrary to the report that is gonna be all the way up to uh, 2017. <laughs> what do you think? Are you excited for this? Microsoft is trying to get uh, and unify most of the uh, building engines that they're gonna do. Uh, problem is, most of the stuff will probably start to require Windows 10 and uh, Windows games. Um, so we already have people in the industry taking care of this and speaking up. Tim Sweeney, one of the co-founders of Epic Games, has gotten to Twitter and actually uh, criticized a lot of Microsoft with this move, uh, citing that this move is going to be closing most of the um, engines so that uh, we have less and less uh, competition. What do you guys think? And finally, a little bit of drama in the retro gaming community. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, there's been uh, some uh, back and forth between Pat the NES Punk and Gamester81 regarding some of the associations that uh, John Gamester81 has got with uh, the uh, uh, creator of the Coleco Chameleon that you know we are not fun of that in this channel. There's a lot of respect for both of these guys. They are staples of our retro gaming community. So we hope uh, that they fix all their differences and that uh, the Coleco Chameleon is never to be. Because he's a fraud. In any case, guys, thank you so much for watching this uh, weekly wrap up. I'm Gokalo from Gokalo Retro Reviews, in from Ian, the historic nerd, and hope to see you next time.